What's up guys? Dad Dash Industries here. Uh, my name is Steve. I am a gig dad working in the gig economy doing DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, sprinkled in with a little bit of uh, Instacart and shipped in there along with some Amazon Flex occasionally. So um, if, if you guys are just joining up or just watching, please hit that subscribe button. This is a growing channel. Uh, this channel is about tips, tricks, and strategies in creating a forum and, an, and a place for gig drivers to come and share their strategies, share their tips and tricks, learn something, if there's some questions, so please put questions in the comments, uh, like or dislike, I, I don't mind either, uh, so I can more uh, target the content. Alright guys, well today's video, what we're doing, we're doing a little uh, ride along today again, it's going to be uh, about a two and a half hour ride along. Uh, we're going to go into my market, see what we can do. Goal is always to try to make it $100. We're going to see how close we come to that um, and see where we go. All right, guys, I will be back once I get my first order. I'm actually getting ready to go drive. I've got um, Uber fired up. I've got uh, Grubhub fired up, and then we're going to go get uh, DoorDash fired up once we get into the market there as it is red and hopefully stays red. All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. What's up, guys? <clears throat> back. I uh, just picked up um, an order for Long John Silvers, and I went ahead and tested out a theory, and I think I'm going to probably end up on the wrong end of this theory, but it came up as $6.50, 8 miles, but 8 items. So I, I took the order, thinking, well, maybe there's some hidden tip in there. When I took the order, it said chicken times 8. I said that better not be eight chicken fingers that they're counting as eight items. In a quarter mile, it turn was. left onto Fairview Road. Either that or they didn't give me my order. So I'm on my way now to pick it up. It's about six and a half miles from the restaurant. I was about a mile from the restaurant. So it's gonna cost me about seven and a half, eight miles. I think the uh, GPS that DoorDash was relying on was a little bit uh, off. So we will see. Turn left so I will be back road, uh, when I am processing this order, and we will see what it is, but I think it's going to end up being $6.50, and I think I'm going to end up with a, a low mile. So I haven't got anything else. I've got Take my other two apps on. on. I just, Avenue. while then I was riding right out here, seems to be a little bit of a slower day. Um, so we'll see what happens here and see if DoorDash gives me another order here to help compensate and, and even out Take the mileage the next right onto Columbia All right, guys. Road. I'll see you in a minute. What's up, guys? Dad Dash here. I uh, just delivered that Long John Silver's order, and it was, in fact, only $6.50. So it uh, didn't work out for me uh, in terms of uh, being an extra Continue tip or anything like that, although I assumed mile. once I saw that it was only a eight-piece chicken order, I've learned now the hard way of how Long John Silver's lists its items. So a little knowledge there. If you guys have a Long John's in your area they list their items literally somebody orders an eight piece chicken nugget it's going to be listed as eight items which to me is a little bizarre but it is what it is um so i am now heading i did get an order like right away i i i you know closed that one out and my phone went right off it was a decent order for, at, a, at a restaurant that normally does a decent job having the orders ready and sometimes you get decent tips for eight dollars and 25 cents for five miles so you know over a dollar a mile it was taking me uh, most of the miles were to drive to the restaurant and it keeps me actually in the area of that restaurant so I've got the potential for maybe an additional order to pop through because there's a Chipotle and five guys and stuff around there or just to get a quick turnaround once I get that order delivered so once I get to the restaurant I will be back I will uh, come back on and uh, let you know how the pickup went um, and then we'll go over and see if there was any hidden tip in that one as well. You never know. Eight dollars and twenty-five cents has sometimes had hidden tip in, in my area. So All right, guys, I will be Saturday. back shortly. What's up, guys? Dad Dash here. Just picked up that order from the restaurant I was telling you about. Um, it was already ready. Went very smooth. However, I wanted to add something here that uh, I actually ended up right before I went in there. I had to switch over to my iPhone finally because uh, I have a couple phones I use for business. And I had been using the Android app because I like some of the extras that it had on it, uh, the floating widget, stuff like that. I have an Android phone, but I'm telling you, something happened in the last, like, three days. 
and all the features of the Android app, at least on my phone, and I don't know, and, and I did do an update, but it's like I did an update, and some for some reason I can't I I can't get the maps to work. I had to use Google Maps, it, and it just became a mess, uh, or at least the app did. So I, I went ahead and switched over to the iPhone, and I'm going to try to use the Grubhub on my Android. Um, because sometimes that one works a little bit better on that. But anyways, I don't know if anybody else has experienced the issues or is having an issue. Put in the comments if you are. I'm curious if it's something that's just developed. Hopefully, Android gets it taken care of because I do like that app, uh, the functionality of that app, better than the iPhone app. But anyways, I'm on my way to make this order. I will be back. It turns out I looked at the delivery uh, instructions, and there it is to an apartment building with a code so we'll see how this goes the good news is it's only 1.8 miles from the restaurant so we'll see what happens all right guys i'll be back after i make this delivery see you on the other side what's up guys so uh made that pickup um there was no extra tip again so we've had no extra tip orders yet today um turned out to be the full 825 that i was promised um, it was a 275 base pay. Um, then I got inundated with a whole bunch of crappy orders. Um, just kept flying at me. Um, and I kept turning them down. So, eventually, I got a Chick-fil-A order for $8.75 to go six miles. I've got no activity at all from Grubhub or Uber Eats, which is kind of interesting. Um, because normally they're pretty active. So, I don't know if it's my phone connections or where I've been at or, or what the deal is. Um, but, um, you know, is what it is. Not been a great first hour, um, because I started, it's been about an hour since I've been starting. I mean, I do have, I have $14.25 on the board plus this $8, which puts me over 20 bucks. So I'm going to end up, because this order is starting technically before I, you know, a little bit before when I start it, I'll get some credit for it when I'm calculating my hourly, but not a great sort um so anyways um i'm gonna go over here to chick-fil-a hopefully everything goes smooth hopefully we can get this done pretty quickly and um you know we need to get three orders in and be working on the fourth at the end of the hour and already have that on the board in order to make this make some money here so anyways uh we'll see what happens I am now running Grubhub on my Android, and I am running DoorDash on my iPhone, um, because like I mentioned, I, and I also realized that my Android does have an update that I didn't realize was sitting there, so that might be part of the problem here, um, and why I'm not getting the full capabilities, so I'll get all that taken care of tonight, but uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get pick this order up, and I'll see you guys in the What's up, guys? I'm back. So, I, last time we talked, I was delivering a Uber Eats order for Chick-fil-A, and that order is long gone. Um, a lot of traffic, a lot of stuff I wasn't able to film, really, but that order, um, I, I delivered it, and well, I went and picked up, there was a wait, um, and it ended up not being really worth it. It was like, you know, it ended up being like a $15 an hour projected hourly rate, which is not really worth my time in the end, but I waited over there at Chick-fil-A, it is what it is. Um, I had my apps on to see if there was anything else that was going to come through. Nothing came through that was decent at the time. And uh, I just stuck with the order. So as soon as I got down and got that order, of course, I, you know, we'll see how this one pans out. But of course, I got one of those customers that immediately asked me, you know, is everything here? And I'm like, yes, everything's there. You know, I'm handing them. And it was a big order, too. Um, it's a projected tip of five dollars i've got three dollars and 67 cents already loaded i don't know uber eats in this area it tends to get a little crazy with some of these customers but we'll see what's happened i kept checking my ratings to see what happened nothing but you just never know um so as soon as i got done with that i got a nine dollar and fifty cents uh cvs shop that was a really good one it turned out as my best projected hourly the day of 25 dollars an hour and then of course my uh, babysitter called and I have to, uh, which I was already planning to end anyways, but I had to end it. Um, I've got to go pick up my son, so, I, you know, there's stuff going on there. But anyways, 
Um, I will do a recap of the day. Um, I will do a montage of the day. There's a lot of nasty orders in there that you're going to see in the montage because I'm going to include those as well as the ones I took. You see all the orders or a majority of the orders that I saw today as I was out dashing. I uh, ended up making $41 and I believe it was 67 cents, but I will confirm that when I get back and I'm in a position to look at all my numbers. It was not a great day. Uh, not a great hourly, $17 an hour is what my average hourly was. Um, so not really good. The wait times got me. Also, I started later in the lunch. You know, it's what it is. Uh, sometimes you have that. And then you have days like when I went out and did two hours and it made over $100. I mean, it's just Grubhub is a key component. And for whatever reason, I don't know if it was app connectivity or what was going on. I got no activity from Grubhub today. First time in a long time that that's happened. Um, I've got to get my phones updated. I've got to get all that going. Um, probably won't be back out again today, um, but we'll be planning to try to get out tomorrow for at least a dinner shift. I've got a pretty personal day filled up tomorrow. So we'll see if I am, I will put it up. I've got to put some more uh, ride-alongs up. There's another one before this that I'm still working on to get out. So uh, uh, I appreciate everybody watching. Also, please, if you haven't yet, subscribe. And I know that's a lot of you. Uh, so if you're watching this, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like or dislike button. Put some comments in there. Let's get some talk going on. Um, today, like I said, I learned that, uh, uh, you know, we, we had a couple couple things come up today where um, we learned about Long John Silvers. Those are some takeaways. Uh, you know, and anybody that's got a Long John Silvers know that the item count is not accurate or correct. It is, they actually count, if somebody gets an eight count chicken strip meal, they count it as eight items. So, you know, that's huge, huge intel in trying to break down orders and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna roll that montage right now. What's up guys, Steve with Dad Dash Industry back here now with the uh, breakdown here of the shift. I hope you enjoyed that montage. It was a short shift here. We only did um, a couple of deliveries here. It was definitely not the best shift that I've ever had, but it was a small one. It was only five, uh, five deliveries and we began at 12:30 and ended at 2:56 p.m. So that 146 minute, 2.3, 2.43 hours wasn't out much at a lunch. Only got about half of the lunch in and then was out for some of the the, the, the deader ends. Um, so it could have been worse. But let's let's break down here. So the first first order today that I got uh, was a Long John Silver's order. It was six dollars and fifty cents. And I took this order because I thought that there might be hidden tip. And I learned the hard way that there was not. A lot of the miles traveled was because I had the apps on from the moment I left my house till when I got going. So I was able to count all those miles because I turned it on and was looking for an order. Uh, miles to money is pretty terrible. Uh, 36 cents miles to money for the order. Minutes it took to work the order from start to finish was 24 minutes. 
Projected hourly rate was not too bad. It was actually, I, I believe it turns out to be the best hourly rate that we had all day, which was $26.25. And there was no hidden tip. Final payout was $6.50. And no $3 tip amount. The other thing I learned on here is if you do have a long John Silvers in your market, they count. Like if you order an eight-piece uh, chicken tender meal, it's going to count as eight items. So watch your item counts. Don't get tricked by those, of course, also. Obviously, if it's fast food, just assume that what you're looking at is more likely than not what you got. So uh, that's a safe way to be. So the next order after the Long John Silvers, uh, I was on my way back from dropping it off, and I got this order for Cafe Del Sol, $8.25. I thought, again, possibly there could be some hidden tip in there. Well, there was not, but I traveled eight miles. One dollar and three cent miles to money. Twenty six minutes worked. Uh, a lot of that was due to the the drive uh, because it was eight miles through town. Um, so it ended up being a nineteen dollar and four cent projected hourly rate. I like to be twenty or more for lunch, so it wasn't quite the strongest order. In the end, final payout was eight twenty five. Now this is also one of the orders I've been talking about in my you know ride alongs where the odd tip amount, $5.50, and you're going to see this, pay attention, because you're going to see another one of these, and you're going to see some more in other videos. This is something I think to keep an eye on, uh, the kind of question, like, what is going on here? So after this order, I then uh, took a Chick-fil-A order for $8.75, going seven miles, uh, $1.25 miles to money, so not too bad for lunch, 25 minutes worked, Came out to uh, $21 an hour. Uh, final payout was $8.75. And if you look down there, you're going to see the 50 cents again. $5.50 on the um, tip amount. Again, just an odd amount to be tipping. $5.50. Um, so, you know, that's the second one we see of the day. So, Almost as soon as I'm done with that one, Uber Eats shoots me an order for $8.67. Uh, I ended up traveling nine miles. I believe it listed it at like 7.9 or something. So I don't know what it was basing it on. But it ended up being nine miles traveled. Miles to money ended up being 96 cents, which is very which is weak. Uh, and minutes worked because the first time I went to Chick-fil-A, which is what prompted me to take this order, the order was ready. This one, it wasn't, and it was a rather large order, and I had to wait a, very, a long, long time for it. Uh, final payout ended up being $8.67, $5 tip. Um, now, at this point, I was like, okay, it's nearing the end of when I've got to end my shift uh, and go get my son from babysitting. I said, I'm not going to be able to go much longer, you know, if at all. And I literally moved my car, just inched it down the road, and this order popped through. A three-mile, $9.50 CVS shopping order. Uh, it was $3.17 miles to money, 22 minutes of work, $25.91 projected hourly. I took it. Uh, final payout ended up being what it was, $9.50. Interestingly enough here, it was a $3 tip, meaning... The base pay on this order was $6.50, which is like it should be, I believe, on every DoorDash order. This is exactly how one should look. You see why I took it. Made it look a whole heck of a lot better. Had this not been a shop order, this would have been a $5.25 order. I put $5.25 on that three miles in 22 minutes. Certainly doesn't look as good. You're certainly not getting $25 an hour. DoorDash, this is what we need. Okay, if you want people to take orders, this is what we need. That ended up being my final order of the day. So to review the daily stats, like I said, it wasn't a great, it was not a great shift at all. Uh, $41.67 in, in gross pay, as I mentioned, worked about two and a half hours with a total hourly rate of $17.12. An actual delivery hourly rate, meaning the time that I was actually delivering, uh, was $18.66, which is absolutely terrible. Um, I want the delivery hourly rate normally at lunchtime like this. I want it at $25. Okay. And then I want to be at least at 20, uh, for the total hourly rate. 
And then for dinner, I wanted it at 25 and 30. So it was nowhere near where it needed to be. Miles to money was nowhere near where it needed to be. It was 93 cents. I drove 45 miles to make $41. That just tells you everything about the shift. Worked 146 minutes, 134 delivery minutes. My actual gas cost was $3.49. So after taxes, after gas, I took on $32.03 uh, for that uh, uh, two and a half hour shift. So not a great shift at all. Uh, definitely have had a lot better. So uh, a little bit disappointing. But hey, you know what? We learned from it. I learned from it. There were some things I did in the shift. There were some orders I took. Uh, mistakes I made that I said, hey, you know what, I'm not going to go back and do that again. And one of them being <clears throat> gambling on a Chick-fil-A order like that. You know, that Chick-fil-A has some wait times and going back to back is probably not the smartest thing to do. So, um, but like I said, you know, we made 41 bucks, 32 take home is what it is. Um, so guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. Take some time right now, please. If you haven't like the video dislike the video give some feedback here and then also if you've not yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button it's a free way to support the channel i'm trying to grow this thing and please put some comments in there of any tips or tricks that you might have anything you know about the restaurants that i brought up here uh and tell me what are you what are your hourly rates that you're looking for on a lunch shift uh, do you keep track of just total minutes do you keep track of delivery minutes how do you do it put some comments in there i'd love to hear all right, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Talk to you in a minute.